This video assumes that your Datacom multi-user is at version 15.1, is running current maintenance, and the viewer is familiar with the MUF startup options and the MUF startup JCL. Datacom DB 15.1 no longer requires a PXX dataset to be included in the multi-user facility startup. This means the MUF PXX dataset can be removed, thus eliminating the I.O. to the dataset and allows the DASD space it occupies to be released back into the environment. In order to remove the PXX dataset, the sysout startup option must be present in the MUF startup and a no PXX parameter needs to be added to the MUF startup JCL. Even though this change is fairly simple to implement, there are some things to be considered. There is a MUF recycle required to remove the PXX dataset and add the parameter to the MUF startup JCL as well as adding the sysout startup option if it's not already present. The PXX EOJ statistics move from the PXX dataset to the MUF sysprint dataset. Existing DB Utility Report Area PXX JCL is affected if the, C if the PXX no longer exists so it's recommended a one-track PXX dataset replacement be allocated in order for the JCL to not get a JCL error for a missing dataset. DB Utility report area PXX jobs that run on that one-track PXX dataset replacement will still get a condition code zero. However, the only thing that will be in their sysprint is the message you see on the slide. The obsolete PXX report or job steps can be removed after the fact as time permits. Here is the summary of the steps needed to remove a PXX from a multi-user facility. Add the no PXX parameter to the startup. Add the sysout startup option if not present. Allocate a new one-track PXX dataset. Stop the MUF. Delete the old PXX dataset and rename the new one. And then restart your multi-user. That's all there is to it. 